it's Alana. Welcome back to Yoga Yin. Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm going to take you through a sequence today for both thin uterine lining and poor egg quality. This is a sequence that I put together for a student who is now 40 and unfortunately did suffer a miscarriage at about seven or eight weeks and we think that's due to poor egg quality but we also want to make sure with the uterine lining that that uterine lining is nice and full and can support an implantation. So if you have suffered miscarriage or are struggling with your egg quality or poor uterine lining, this sequence will be excellent for you. If you would like a personalized sequence of your own, I now am booked up till August, so I won't be taking any more bookings from now. I'm going to cap it at August. And if you can't wait that long, I do offer a personalized program, and that is where we go through your issues and look at the videos on my channel, which are perfect for you, and put them into a program of when you should practice them, and look at your lifestyle choices and what should change there as well. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for subscribing. Namaste. Hurry on. So for this practice we will need a mat. If it's cold where you are, a blanket to place over your mat because we're going to start in a lying position. A small pillow or a blanket to tuck under your head. And the first position we're going to come into is Sukta Bara Kanasana, lying bound angle pose. So I want you to bring the soles of your feet together and just allow the knees to roll out to the sides and then I want you to gently release the hands first of all, palms up towards the ceiling. Just take a couple of deep breaths here. And I want you to feel the weight of your body sinking down into the mat. Just completely letting go of your day or your week. to the sounds around you. And noticing each sound one by one. And letting each sound go. Bring your awareness to your breath. Slowing the breath right down. Moving into our parasympathetic nervous system. Relaxing, releasing, letting go. Bring the tips of your thumbs and your forefingers together and place the hands just over the belly button, right on the bloom. And breathe down deep into the belly. Feeling the hands on the belly rise as you inhale. And as you exhale, gently drawing back towards the spine. a gentle smile. And 
breathing all your loving energy down into the womb. Taking a few more deep breaths here. And then raising your arms up and over your head. And stretching from the fingertips to the toes, holding it here, scrunching up the face. And exhale, let it go. Good. I want you to bring one knee over to the other. And lie on your side, facing me. Supporting your head with your hands. Knees bent. And we're going to pick up that top leg and take our middle finger and index finger and thumb around the big toe. And then we're just going to lengthen that leg towards the ceiling, extend it there, and just hold it there for a couple of deep breaths. One more. Good, and then bend the knee, release it down, rolling onto the other side. Again, supporting your head with your elbow, knees are bent, taking hold of the big toe with the index, middle finger and thumb, and raising it towards the ceiling. Good, and then releasing it back down, coming back onto your mat. And if you are lying on a blanket like I am, I want you to move that blanket now. Lying on your mat, knees bent, feet close into the body, feet hip distance apart. And we're going to come into bridge pose, fantastic egg quality pose. This is Supta Baddha Konasana. And we're going to take our arms a little bit out from the body now. Good. And when you're ready, I want you to inhale and just gently raise the pelvis just slightly. Feel the grounding through the feet and exhale, lower it down. Inhale, come up a little further and we're going to turn the hands over now so the palms are facing upwards. And exhale and release it. Coming up once more, turning the palms as we go to face upwards. And coming all the way back down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Inhaling to raise. Exhale. 
exhaling to lower. Gently warming up the body. Another round. And if you wish to continue in this flowing fashion, inhaling to raise the body and exhaling do for the next few rounds. If you wish to hold it, come with me, inhale. Come up onto the shoulders and either interlace the hands or if you wish to support your lower back and even come up onto the toes. And the weight is in the feet rather than in the head. Five deep breaths here. Good, and then gently release your shoulders first, all the way down through the back, and hug the knees into the belly and gently rock from side to side. Just easing off that lower back. And then gently roll off to one side. Make your way up to a seated position and we're going to come up to standing for Saran Namaskar. Okay, so Saran Namaskar, as you know, we come to the top of our mat and feet are hip distance apart. Good. I want you to ground down through the weight of your feet. Really connect. Lift up your toes and spread them and just contract the muscles in the legs and then gently place them down. Inhale, pick up the heels and exhale, lower the heels down. Taking your weight backwards and forwards, finding your point of them. Good. When you found it, soften your knees. Draw the knees in towards one another. Feel if you can feel that tension at the inner thigh. Tuck the tailbone under, draw up through the sides of the body, let the belly be free, and then roll your shoulders back and down. Good, neck is nice and long, chin is tucked in. Take a couple of deep breaths here. Ground down through the feet. Beautiful, and when you're ready, inhale and raise the hands up to prayer, up and over the head, look up to the hands, and then swan dive, fold forward, soften at your knees here if you need to, otherwise keep them straight. Inhale, look up, and then exhale, step back on your right leg to a lunge pose, and if you need to hold it here, do, but if you can come up, we are open the arms out to grace and take a couple of deep breaths here. We're going to exhale, lower them, and step back to our first downward dog, spreading the fingers nice and wide and easing into this pose by walking through the feet. Releasing the backs of the legs, working into the kidney and bladder meridian. Inhale and exhale. Sink the heels down, take a couple of deep breaths here and down the dog. And then inhale, take the weight forward over the hands, holding the plank and either lowering your knees and then the body down 
or lowering your body all the way to the mat if you have the strength. Releasing here, taking a couple of deep breaths. Good, and then inhale, hands beside the chest, looking up into a gentle cobra. And then tucking the toes under once more. Raising the right leg behind you, stepping it through into that lunge. And if you did on the other side, opening to grace. Releasing it, stepping the left foot up, folding forward here, softening at the knees if you need to. Inhale, looking forward, stepping back on that right leg once again. And this time, bringing the hands to prayer. Releasing, stepping back to downward dog, walking through the feet once more. Feel the backs of the legs start to really loosen now. Inhaling and exhaling, sinking the heels down. Two deep breaths. Inhale, bring the weight forward over the hands, releasing all the way down to the mat, uncurling the toes, taking two deep breaths here. Inhale, gentle cobra. Ducking the toes under, Back to downward dog, raising the left leg now and stepping it through into the lunge, bringing the hands to prayer. Lowering the hands, stepping the right foot up to the left, folding forward here, releasing the head, weight is forward over the toes. And then inhale, raising the arms up and over the head to prayer. And exhale, bring them to the heart. Dropping the chin, taking a couple of deep breaths here. And then bringing the hands to the belly, tips of the thumb and the fingers together. Breathe down into the belly. Let the weight drop through the feet. through the body, through the womb. Two more deep breaths here. Let the eyes open and we're going to come down to our mat. Okay, so we're going to come into Paschimottanasana, Great Western Stretch now. If you find that this is difficult for your lower back, I want you to take your blanket and pillow and just place it underneath the ischial bones at the bottom of your buttock 
just allowing you to sit up with the spine a little straighter. And we're going to begin in a flowing fashion. So I want you to raise your arms up and over your head, toes pointed forward, and then fold forward. And then inhale, come back up. And exhale, release it. So we'll work into this. Very good for the kidney and bladder meridian. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now if you find it's a little tough with your legs straight, bend up your knees. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Whatever works for you. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. And again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now you can continue to work in that flowing fashion if that suits your body, or if you'd like to hold the pose, this pose is excellent for fertility. We're going to inhale here and exhale, fall forward from the hips and take hold wherever we're comfortable. I'm going to point the toes towards the ceilings now. So either take hold around your shins or around your feet, wherever is comfortable for you. And we're going to inhale here and exhale, sink down. And we're going to hold it for six deep breaths. Beautiful, reach out, inhale, raise the arms, and exhale, release them. Coming now on to your back, moving your pillow or your blanket to one side. Placing the hands over the knees, and just releasing the lower back, small circles on the spine. Increasing the blood flow to the womb, really moving this area. And then reverse those circles. And then gently just hug the knees in. Good. Slide your hands down to your ankles. Place the soles of the feet flat on the floor. And I want you to just open up your right knee now. I'm going to take the arms out to the sides. Like so. And I want you to bring your left knee all the way over to your right now. Left palm on top of right palm. And then sliding the tips of your fingers all the way along your arm, I want you to open up to Sukta Baddha Konasana. Taking the arm all the way across the chest. And then gently closing it, bringing the right palm on top of the left and the right knee on top of the left. Inhaling, drawing the fingers along the body, across the chest, opening out, and exhaling to the other side. Inhaling, and exhaling. 
Inhaling. And exhaling. Slowing the body right down, moving in a wave-like fashion. Really tapping in to the parasympathetic nervous system. Another round to each side. Good. And then gently opening out the body, soles of the feet together. Once again, Sutta Padakanasana. Palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Feeling much more open now in the hip area. Easy flow of blood down to the uterus. And then I want you to float your eyes open and we're going to prepare for a yoga nidra. So I want you to grab your blanket now and either place it underneath you or on top of you if it's cold where you are. Good. And placing your pillow or blanket underneath the neck. Chin should be lower than the forehead. Making yourself comfortable in Shavasana, corpse pose. Arms facing upward, arms a little way up in the body. Feet rolling out to the sides. Closing the eyes if you're comfortable. Allowing the weight of your body to sink down into the mat. Completely lit. Bringing your awareness to your thumbs and releasing the thumbs, the four fingers, the middle fingers, the ring fingers, the little fingers, palm of the hands, back of the hands, the wrists, the forearms, the elbows, the upper arms, and the shoulders. Release the shoulders, let them go. Release the upper chest, middle chest, and the belly, the hips, 
front of the thighs, back of the thighs, the knees, the calves, the ankles, the heels. Release the whole of the front of the body, the whole of the front of the body, let it go. the whole of the back of the body. The whole of the back of the body. Let it go. Release the front of the skull, the face, the forehead, Eyebrows, the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the lips, the teeth, the tongue, and the jaw. Soften the jaw. Finally soften into the heart space. Release the whole of the body. All of the body. Let it go.
like to deepen the breath. Becoming aware of the weight of the body on the mat. And gently wriggle the fingers. And wriggle the toes. And then bring your palms and gently rub them together. Placing them over the eyes. Gently rolling off to one side, taking a couple of deep breaths here. And then making your way up to a comfortable seated position, either in Sukhasana, tucking the feet under the knees. Or Siddhasana, pose of a sage. And allowing the weight of the body to sink down into the mat, really ground. a sense of peace and calm and renewed confidence through with you into the rest of your day or night. And bringing the hands together, Anjani Mudra prayer follows. And bringing them to the forehead, a clarity of thought and an open mind clarity of speech, in kind speech, and to the heart, 